Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about the uh, Delwin routine and end curses. Uh, if you haven't seen my pre previous end curses tutorial, uh, I'd recommend going to check those out first, just so um, you're kind of all caught up. Uh, you don't have to watch all of them, but if you don't know anything about end curses, this isn't going to make a whole lot of sense. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just get started. Um, all right, so uh, today's tutorial uh, is a really simple um, routine function, whatever you want to call it, uh, for uh, Delwin is the name of it. But um, before we get started, um, we have a very basic setup here with uh, just a make file that's going to basically generate our main file here from our main.cpp. Um, and I have a very basic setup, um, just a little template where we're including end curses. We have a main function with a knit screen to start end curses and mwin to end our end curses. And then I've created a basic just test window and I've displayed a border around it and just wait for input. So uh, we'll get started by just running that and you'll see this is what we've created. Um, and then if I hit a character, it'll exit out. So, um, so yeah, um, essentially this tutorial, we're going to talk about Delwin and Delwin is essentially it's a uh, routine used to uh, free any memory that was associated with this new win method. So um, basically Delwin, every new win call should be paired with a Delwin call. I'm surprised I haven't talked about this earlier. Um, I've, I've kind of read conflicting views on this. So a lot of people say that every new win call should be paired with Delwin, but a lot of other people say that end win takes care of all of it. So like technically speaking, any new win stuff should be deleted with an end win. I don't know. Like I said, I've got conf conflicting viewpoints on that. Um, so uh, technically, I think if you're trying to be extra careful, you should just go the route of using Delwin every time you call new win. Um, and essentially, for those of you that aren't aware, there's these things called memory leaks and um, you know leftover memory essentially that um, a lot of people get concerned about with uh, end curses programs because you can basically have memory left over that could be exploited or can cause other issues on your uh, system. So uh, if you're familiar with C++ in general, um, there's this thing called the delete uh, keyword and that allows you to delete pointers and things like that. Uh, so you could think of Delwin, our um, method of the day, as kind of like end curses delete keyword for windows. Um, so the way that Delwin works is it takes one parameter, which is a window. Um, and it's just like I said, supposed to delete any memory associated with the window that was created by new one. So again, if you're being extra careful, anytime you call new one, you should call Delwin when you're done with the window. Um, so let's just whoops, run the program and you're actually not going to see any change here because it doesn't really do anything visually that we'll be able to see. But um, just so you can see that it doesn't change, it looks exactly like it did before the program. So, so essentially what Delwin's doing is, like I said, it's just deleting the memory in the background. It's not even actually going to clear the, the screen where that window existed. It's going to leave that visual representation because if you, if you think about it, the window, this window isn't actually the representation on the screen. It's just something in memory. And then every time you call refresh, refresh is essentially taking that thing that's stored in memory and uh, outputting it to the what's called curse screen or standard screen. It's actually the curse screen. It's so it's taking it and it's outputting it to the curse screen. So deleting this memory doesn't actually delete what's on curse screen. Um, and we can demonstrate that by uh, doing another good chart call and we can call refresh just so you see that the standard screen's refreshed. So if we make it run here, um, if I press a key, you'll see, <clears throat> you'll see that everything here still exists. It's not getting erased off the screen. So if you did want it to actually erase, if you wanted to actually erase the screen first, um, I think you can call W, I think it's W erase should um, delete um, the visual representation before we actually delete it here. So we can do make and main, uh, and then, okay, sorry, it's not W race, it's W, I think it's W clear. And then I think we also have to call it W refresh test one. So if we do that, what that's gonna do, yeah, so that does what we're expecting it to do. So it's actually gonna delete the memory 
or sorry, it's going to delete the visual portion of it um, before it actually deletes the window. So just to show, I mean, you, you really want to be careful when you do this Delwin, because if you are um, referencing that test win after you call Delwin, it could cause a segmentation fault. I've run into some scenarios where it doesn't cause a segmentation fault, which is confusing to me. But um, so right now we're sitting here. If I press A or, or something right now, we're going to jump down to here and it should run into a segmentation segmentation fault when it hits this W refresh. Sometimes it doesn't, like right there it didn't. I'm going to hit this a few times until, yeah, okay. So that time we got a segmentation fault. I'm not sure why it sometimes is and sometimes isn't giving us that, but technically speaking, every time it should, or it could cause a segmentation fault. So you want to be really careful. Um, when you're calling Del1, you want to make sure you're really done with that pointer at that point in time. So yeah, um, that's kind of all I had for you guys today. Um, I hope that made sense. Like I said, it's a really simple um, routine. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. It, it's been a long time since I made a tutorial, about it's been over a year. Um, hopefully I have an, uh, another one coming out soon. Um, and if you did like this uh, video, consider giving me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments, concerns, questions, leave those down below. I try to respond to everything. And if you do want to see more videos like these, uh, consider subscribing and turning on all notifications. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, great rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.